New video tonight, gunfire outside of a gas station and the bullets you see being fired here eventually burst through this East St. Louis City Hall. Ashley Lincoln is live learning what led up to this shooting. Ashley, police believe it may have been a drug deal gone bad. That's right, Corey. It was all caught on surveillance cameras. Now it happened at this gas station behind me that's directly across the street from City Hall. Police tell us pedestrians and other drivers were out here, but somehow those bullets missed them all but one shattering the front glass door of City Hall and luckily nobody was injured. It's really a blessing that no one was struck. 15 seconds is all it took for several bullets to fly across this gas station parking lot in East St. Louis Sunday night. The way he was just firing, randomly firing like that. Police say Jeremy Mosby is the man firing the gun. Detectives say Mosby was at this gas mart on East Broadway for about 30 minutes selling drugs before the shooting happened. The bullets could have went into anybody that was out there on the parking lot. He's seen in this blue car selling what police suspect is crack. When he's getting ready to leave, he gets into his silver car and a man who appears to know Mosby gets inside the passenger seat. After talking for minutes, the two appear to have a disagreement. That's when Police say Mosby jumps out of his car, pulls out his gun, and starts firing shots towards the passenger, who then slides into the driver's seat to get out of there. When the car gets in front of the East St. Louis City Hall, you can see the flash from when the bullet hits the door. This is the damage that was caused to the sliding glass door. The round came from across the street as the, the as the suspect's vehicle was leaving the parking lot. Police say several pedestrians and drivers were out at the time of the shooting. Thank God it was late and City Hall was closed. Now Mosby was arrested shortly after this incident. He is facing three felony charges and tonight he is being held on a two hundred thousand dollar bond and related to this situation. Now police are also looking for that passenger that got away. They're asking anyone with information on this case to contact East St. Louis police. Live tonight at East St. Louis, Ashley Lincoln, News 4.